A grand start to the weekend for the Seminoles, a 10-2 victory over Boston College, thanks in part to a pair of grand slams. Lane Hurt here with Matt Nelson, one of the guys who hit one of those. Third inning, tie game, bases loaded, two outs. Go through that at bat. I know you wasted a couple of two-strike pitches and, and finally found one that you wanted. Yeah, no, so the entire bat, you know, bases loaded. I wasn't thinking grand slam, obviously. I was just thinking put the ball in play. Um, whatever happens, happens. The rest will take care of itself and work the count to a 3-2 count. And I was thinking, you know, fight off anything close. And that's what happened. A couple of couple spoilers. He threw me a, I think it was a 2-2 breaking ball down low. I was pretty good. Fell that off. And then same thing with another fastball on the outside corner. And then made a mistake and threw a cookie right down the middle. And, you know, I, my first thought was, you know, hammer it. And luckily I put the ball in the air and it just kept going. The second one came in the seventh inning. I mean, Matt, you've got 14 home runs. You lead the team. Not that big of a surprise. Tyler Martin, on the other hand, his second career home run is a grand slam. What does it do do to the dugout when a guy who's not known for his power puts one out like that? I was more happy for him to hit that grand slam than I have for any home run that I've hit this year. It was especially awesome because the pitch before was a total ball. It was a fastball up and out. And not even close to being a strike. And so we're all kind of like, dude, come on. And there's two outs, 0-2 count, sits on a breaking ball and just hammers it over the right field wall. So that was, that just shows you what this team is made of. Just, you know, battling that adversity and staying in the game. Parker Messick, like you said, handling adversity, not his best stuff tonight, but he goes five innings, eight strikeouts, gets the win. How impressed have you been watching him handle that Friday night role for, for this team this year as he continues to be steady as, as, as the season progresses. Yeah, no, it, it's awesome to see Parker. I mean, he has a bulldog mentality every time he's at the field. Whether he's on the mound or not, I know that's one thing that we always talk about with Parker is, oh, he's got the bulldog mentality. He's this, he's that. And, you know, yeah, it wasn't his best night. I think he was 105 pitches through five innings or something like that. It, it's okay. It's baseball. It's not always going to go your way. But for him to come back into the dugout after what happened, and pick the team up and still be a leader and be a vocal leader and be there and be, a, you know, it sounds terrible saying a cheerleader, but, you know, just, you know, being a vocal, being a vocal leader, really, is it's awesome. Just the support from him that he brings every single day. There you have it, Seminole fans. The Knolls are back at it on Saturday. That game has been moved from 2 o'clock to noon, trying to get in before the bad weather. Hopefully we can get that done. Of course, stick with Seminoles.com all weekend for highlights as the Knolls look to keep things going against the Eagles. That'll wrap up things for now. For Matt, I'm Lane. Go Knolls.